Welcome back to the Random Box Unbox channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to increase the speed for your Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus. And I know that these are already fast phones, but if you are new to Android or inexperienced with Android phones, these are just a few quick uh, tips and tricks that will show you how to just get that extra performance out of your phone. I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is your boy Sky, and let's just jump right into it. Galaxy S10 Plus and let me show you how you can make this beast just a little bit faster. Now to start, you're gonna have to unlock your phone. So before I get into it, let me show you that when you click on any app or your app drawer, for example, there's a transition effect. And that takes all of half a second just to open or maybe even one second. Um, but you can actually reduce the amount of time and you can also eliminate it, which will make your phone a little bit faster. Now, to start, you need to go to your app drawer and you need to go to your settings. If you can't access your settings the same way that I just did, because I know that some of you have your app drawer disabled, you can always scroll down from the top and hit the top right corner of your phone into the settings. Now, once you're here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to advanced features you're gonna hit that and you see that there is here a tab that says reduce animations so you want to go ahead and turn that off and then you're gonna want to go back now you won't notice a difference right now at least not much very slight the eye won't be able to tell now if you really want to get rid of this animation what you're gonna do is you're gonna to come to settings one more time you're gonna scroll down to about phone then you're gonna to go to software information and there's a tab that says build number so you're going to tap that and then it's going to say three steps away from being in developer mode you're going to do that until your developer mode has been enabled so and developer mode has been turned on you're going to hit the back button one more time and another time so now you should see a developer options all the way at the bottom you're going to hit that you're gonna scroll down. You're gonna keep on going down until you see. Let me make sure that I don't pass it. All right, so you're gonna see the window animation scales. So as you can see right now, these are set to one X. You can click on it. You can make that 0.5 X and it will still make your phone faster. Now, I personally like to turn them off. So I will go ahead and turn them all off. And now my phone has no animation, so there is no transition between apps. Now, keep in mind that the apps on purpose have this transition time for when you are... Now, keep in mind that the apps have this transition time on purpose. When you click the app, it usually takes it a second or two um, to react. So once you open it, you actually have the content on it. So while this will make your phone react faster, the apps might actually take them a little bit longer time to display the content, and it might be a little bit frustrating. You won't really notice, so let's give this a try. So now you see there is no transition effect. So this is absolutely faster than when the video first started. So that's pretty much it. And as you guys can see, the phone is just uh, lightning faster. So you got your contacts, you got your phone, and everything is just working fast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it helps you out. You can always reverse all the settings just by going back into your settings, going back into developer options, scroll down to the window animations, and you can always turn them back on. And you can also turn off developer mode. And that would be it. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed that quick tips and tricks video to make your Galaxy S10 faster. I know these uh, phones are machines and they're super fast nowadays. Um, you can always get that extra kick out of it though. And that's what I like to do with my phones personally. And I hope these tips and tricks helped you out. If you're a new Android user, 
they definitely will. And if you're experienced, you probably already know about this or maybe not. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's any questions that you all have or if you want to see any other videos in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.